Hello and welcome back in our city skies one city. In the last episode, we were creating this massive park between the two neighborhoods. And that ended up pretty well. We got a lot of people using our park and that will increase our income. So that was definitely a good choice. Look at all the people here that are making use of the bridge over the highway. And yeah, the park is doing a good job. We do definitely make some nice income. We got a total income of 3,500 already. So maybe we can drop the price a little bit. Maybe to get some more people in it. But we still have more than enough visitors in our park. And I was playing offline quite some while to get some stuff done. But I really miss the good mods and assets that we used to have. A lot of them are broken. Or not working correctly in the way they should be with visuals and stuff so yeah took a while to get a decent video but at least we have one now and the plan for today is to get something done with public transport we unlocked the trams and buses already and even got something in ship what do we got the ship oh that's the piers due to the park got some airport roads which we can do nothing with it because we haven't locked unlock airports yet we haven't got the trains yet but yeah i want to get something done with some fertile ground so we get to the farming area and yeah i know i got the mod for the ground resource so i can add a little bit of fertile ground extra in this area i could do it offline very sneaky and suddenly say hey look got a massive amount of other way i am so it's kind of vanilla due to all the fact that we haven't got a lot of working mods like they were using directly in the former city. The one that I gave with the uh, old Amsterdam, of little Amsterdam I called it. That was absolutely massive to create but fortunately a lot of Dutch roads aren't working the way I was hoping there would be so we're gonna leave some stuff open for the uh, forestry area or the logging area so we get the industry and i want to increase this one a little bit more but we can have a nice split in forestry and farming i, I mean i can also add some more trees in this area to get this one more done so let's get it slightly with this include included come on let's just don't press the right button like this and we can always extend it like this for our logging area all the way up to the border so far and let's cheat a little bit i hope you don't blame me for doing it but if you do i'm sorry so let's get some fertile ground here and maybe in the future we can get some more in this area. But look, we have more than enough all in the back. Got some ore, we got some oil. So we definitely have more options for the farming area, forestry area. So I think we're going to start small by adding in a section of road from this part. I'm really looking forward to the part when we got the trains unlocked so that I can do something on this railroad section here. I really don't like it, but we have to deal with it. So I'm planning a road equal to the railroad section in here. Let's do it for now. I know we got some elevation in here. See if I can... Uh, at least I got the undo mod. <laughs> Let's smooth it out a little bit more. Uh, that is good enough. Let's connect this one up. Like this. And I think for the rest we're going to do something with the dirt roads. Would be, be more nicely to have the one here in the farming area. 
Uh, and I think we're gonna start like this. And then we're gonna put some fields on this side of the road. And just let me know. Let me finish the section first because we need a farm, a main building. And now we unlock the grain silo, small grain silo, the animal pasture, the crop field, and the fruit field, all small. And we created a industry area. And we are going to that one bigger. Up to the railroad here. Come on. Uh, now we can get the bigger brush. Let's connect it up to the forestry. Yes, perfect. All right. Aspen State. Nah. Call it Dutch. The Boeren Trots means proud of the farmers. Without the farmers, we don't have any food. So, definitely need to be proud of the farmers. So, what the plan is now to check how big the sizes are of these fruit fields. Alright, so if I can get my dirt road towards this section, we should be allowed to put the crop field on that side in between. Oh, perfect luck. So, let's pause the game before everything starts to getting in action. Let's get four. Crop fields. We get one, two, three, four fruit fields. I don't want the greenhouses. Put it into apples, apples, and some pears. It's just visual. They all produce crops. Same goes for this one. You can have multiple. You got wheat. You got a greenhouse as well. The potatoes, you got cotton, and you got corn. Uh, my favorite is corn. So we'll put everything into corn. And those fields are producing the crops, and you need to storage them in the grain silo. So we're gonna take the grain silo. And let's see, because. The animal pastures here, they need crops to produce animal products. We can put one. Two, only two of them in here. So let's put those two in here. Get our dirt road in between. And set a small grain silo. On this street here. Got a capacity of 300,000. I'm going to put it on balanced. I know at the beginning they will fill it up from uh, external storage units. But at the end those eight fields here will produce enough. Fill this one up. And we're going to get this one for cows. Highland cows, pigs or sheep. Let's go for the highland cows in this case. They are producing animal products. They need the crops. So these fields will fill up the silo. Silo will provide this one in here. And then we're going to need a small warehouse to put the animal products like this. Put that one on empty. We don't have any factories or anything else. So everything that we produce can be exported. And let's set up for this one. So let's have it run. Look, they're going to ask for the crops. Now we don't need it. So they're going to. Imported from the outside stories somewhere. Oh, we need water. Oh, we got our main water line running in here. Is this good enough? I believe so. Speed up the game. Yes, that is perfect. And what I do want to have done is to connect this one up with the forestry area. Because later on when we're going to put on the bus lanes. You can have a nice circle. Or the people to get 
do the work by bus if they want. Let's put it in here and then a nice angle roads. This one is set up. Yes, and now we can have all this area filled up for the farming, including the other side. And yeah, that's set. How is our logging area doing? We need another nine workers to get another ten, nine, ten, nine, or eight <laughs> to get to the next level. Oh, no, 200. Oh, wow. So we need more working spots to get to the next level. All right. All right. Uh, logging this one is doing perfect let's add in another factory I mean if you don't have the work spots available it's very hard to get to the next level Dutch oh well, another factory and let's see what else can we provide in here wait oh that's all Oh, our park has reached level 4. Let's get that one in a minute. And I also spotted one thing. Oh, there is the uh, logging area. I reached level 3. Printing press, medium plantation, the large log yard. I was looking at it and, we, and I saw that we have the easy mode. I thought I would set this up to the hard mode. So, click. No despawning anymore. Let's see how good or how bad our traffic really is because we got the despawning on. Quite simple to have a nice traffic. And what do we unlock? Printing press. Do we need something more? A sawdust or raw forest products. Let's put one also in not in there so let in adding the roads in here let's put it on straight dutch it also stocks raw frosty products all right all right all right nice nice looking good Paper, uh, at least this one on empty, so it's exporting. Right use in trucks too, so that's doing a good job in the plain timber. It's from the sawmill. Maybe we can move them a bit away so we can add in another sawmill. I mean, if you're going to start creating workspaces. Gonna do it the proper way. And look, yep, the truck filled from the log yard, filled the sawmill. Absolutely perfect. As it should be. Let's keep an eye on this one. For a short notice. Yep, that's up in the I'm sorry. <clears throat> up in the green. <laughs> so that's good. So our logging yard is now a three star. And the next level is 400, and we only got 357 on working spots, but that's for later on. This one is running. Yes, it is. It's full. Wow, almost full, 70%. And we are already exporting. So we might have a check to get some more animal postures. Let's put two more. Ah, uh, look, there goes the trucks straight from the small silo it's good these are set on island cows as well yeah that's good for now yep 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 all right that's one part done now we're gonna go for the public transport and we got a huge demand for uh, residential Let's see what we can do in this episode on that one i'm gonna extend here and here here i know we got some 
slightly the rain difference in here it, it is lovely but we're gonna start with a bus line or multiple lines gonna pause the game again i was struggling with this one the compact bus station but therefore we need a uh, passenger uh, pedestrian area uh, was, was a bit crappy at the beginning so i'm going for the bus line and i'm gonna remove the large food truck plaza gonna put it in here and i want one thing done and i want to make a square kind of square thing with one way direction we unlocked a lot of great roads with trees bicycle lanes so I'm going for a one-way two-lane. Yeah, I think so. Two-lane with roads and trees like this. We're gonna get one as it. Oh, that's perfect. Yes. So we're gonna get this as a one-way to the right side, counterclockwise, and. The other way around. Come on. <laughs> nope. See the game. You gotta have to do it manually. All right. All right. We'll do it manually. And then we have. I think this one. To enter our city. Or our neighborhood. Yeah. That's great. And then offline, I think I'm going to change all the roads to the road with the trees. So I'll be right back. All right, that's set. I did some more than just the neighborhood himself. I put everything around it also in a lovely trees with grass, stylish roads. And I think it's looking great. We got the lane with the median in the center. I think as an entrance for our neighborhood, especially with this yeah called plaza the small roof plaza it is looking nice so yeah so now we can i just connected this one up let me fill this one up with some residential yeah should be good so we got a some sort of one way large roundabout square about i don't want to call it and there we're going to add in a bus station. And at the back I think we're going to have a nice walking path or something. For the that last section. Let's see where are my walking paths. Parks here. Park life or. This one. yeah that's not too bad not too bad all right and we got the standard buses we need a bus depot of course otherwise we don't have any bus in our city get that one in the industry area so it doesn't bother any other area and we're going to put some lines we got the bus stops for the lines now i got the auto color mod so we get a nice different color every time and i definitely want one big one so i'm gonna make one large one that goes through the uh, industrial area here with the logging and the farming we got some smaller in the middle so i'll be right back when i'm done with this one okay okay and we have some lines I got my first one, <clears throat> it's the dark and blue. I'm gonna start with the bus station, of course, going all the way around through the industrial area into the farming area, logging area, and straight back. We got the pink one, pinky one, getting in the south section of this neighborhood. We got the orange one in the upper. We got a light blue running in here. That goes straight to the initial area in here. 
and on the other side back in the bus station we got this mint green one it's taking the upper side on the lower section and we got a red one that's only in this uh, lower section i got some matching bus lines or uh next to each other here we got three lines stopping in here we got two lines or three lines stopping in here so people can hop over from one line to another line to get anywhere they want so let's unpause the game speed it up and they're going to be a shitload of buses leaving our bus depot some of them will join the line straight away and we yeah, we just gotta keep an eye on how long the waiting lines will be with the with, with the with the bus stops because probably we're going to get a shitload of buses way too much way too much but let's get the lines overview let's have a focus on how many vehicles we have on those lines and how many passengers we have so let's pick them one with the most little bus so far that's 15 the two lines with 15 all right let's see Bus capacity, 30, it's not really much. I was thinking of getting more with 90 or something, but yeah, I think 34 buses is good for now. So, oh, we got more than three buses waiting in here. Wow, this one's busy. Wow. So already we can fill up almost four buses. Oh, and our farming area hit level 2. Keep an eye on that one it's for later on. We were looking at the passengers. Oh, look. 20 people in the bus. 45 waiting. So we need another bus here for, to get all the people in line. On 20, that goes to 5 buses already. And look, they are all here. So these are quite low on numbers. This one... Picking up a little bit more. Where is this? What's in this residential area? Yeah, I think I'm going to drop back for now. Till 11. I think I'm going to do the same. On the other line from 15. Just put it back to 11. Yeah, at the beginning a lot of people. But later on not that much. So drop it back to 10 in this case. 13 buses. Do we have a lot of people? No. Almost none. So we're going to drop back to, say, 7. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sewage treatment, electricity. Ooh, we got an issue. In bad weather, we don't have enough power to produce. So we need to fix that straight away. What are we going to put in? Can we put in an oil power plant? Takes heavy pollution. 35 and 50. This one does only 10 and 10. But it outputs only 56 megawatts. Produce. Cost 35,000. Cost 50,000. Upkeep 960. Oh, that's a nasty one. The output is more than double. The cost is not even double. Wow. Oh, what do we have? Uh, geothermal that's only noise pollution of 50 output 80 hmm. the rest is still locked <clears throat> what is this one doing noise pollution it's only 200 a week noise pollution 75 but we need to put that in water and then Produce 20. Let's put three of them in here. That's 60 megawatts. Definitely want to do something with this. And we don't need power lines, so that's the advantage of this one. Alright, electricity solved. Oh yeah, we were looking at the bus lines. Distracted. Another bit, uh, just a little bit. Got one of 12. Got some people in it. Let's put that one back to 6. And just keep an eye on how everything is going. Definitely want to build somewhere. 
So I am going to build somewhere. I'll be right back. And again, I run out of money. Oh my god, Sid's gonna want to still killing me every time. So, still unlocked <clears throat> and paused in the game, not. Uh, bought an extra tile. And starting pinning that up with some services, police, fire department, and a uh, medical center. We got a small elementary school, we got a cemetery. Surrounded with some lovely trees, parks, trees, stuff, fence, everything. So that's looking a bit nicer than normal. I choose the roads with the pedestrian crossings and the uh, cycling paths, the green one. So <coughs> maybe this is the first zoning area that I'm going to do for residential. And... Um, remember that there was something of encouraged biking and I think with this nice one Let's see if, do, 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 do. city planning encourage biking so encourage biking Bicycle band on the sidewalks. Yep, yeah, they gonna need to be on the roads. And let's get a heavy traffic band in here. And European Superbia. Let's pick that one. Oh, for this one we need population of 11,000. Then we can get high tech housing or something else. And of course, this one also needs, I'm going to do it later on, the uh, bus lines, once we got this one hooked up perfectly. Mm. Uh, yeah, so fill it up with some commercial on here, and the rest filled up with residential. I don't know, let's, let's have a look what this new area is going to bring us. I mean, we're looking at it for a few minutes now. It's not really growing the fast that I was expecting. We completely lost the demand. But I think the housing theme is yeah quite nice for this neighborhood. We got some lot of green stuff with the with the gardens. So yeah, this one can fill up nicely. Let's have a final look at our bus lines. 431 a week on passengers. Got full bus, full bus, full bus, almost empty. So the peak of this line is in the beginning here in this area. So we don't need to worry. That's 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 good for now. I mean more than enough buses so same goes for this one the peak beginning in here and then lower numbers at the end so i'm pleased with that got a 95 in here the 32 people waiting at the bus station but i think the next bus is coming soon there he is I've got another 30 waiting and the next one on the way. So, yeah, this is doing nice. Oh, there's another yellow one. Look, and other people are gone. So, that is perfect for now. Let's have a look at the farming area. Oh, wow. 
Maybe we need another small grain silo. This one is... Maybe one is not enough. To provide all the needs that we have with those eight fields. So let's put one in here so they can fill it up on both sides. And what else do we unlock last time? The barn. That's for crops as well. Yes. Well, wait. Let's get this one removed and put in a barn in here. That's nice. And what else did we unlock? We unlocked the flour mill and the cattle shed. The cattle shed is also producing animal products, and this one is especially good for flour. Requires crops. Can we fit one in here. Yeah, we can. Hmm. Rain height is a bit buggy. But now we do need a small warehouse. Oh, this is crap. Remove you. The other location. And get the small warehouse in here. smooth things out a little bit yeah really a little bit we're gonna put this one on flour and on empty so we're gonna produce flour in here we're gonna put it in here in the house and it's gonna be exported and we're gonna make some money with it we do need 200 people we got 203 workplaces available it is growing almost reaching the next level so i think in the next episode we will get the level three we're still importing a lot yeah that's probably the beginning with the barn and a lot of stuff so keep an eye on that one no import at all that is perfect we are growing so yeah we got some nice industry expansion we got the bus lines included in the city we got a completely new side of residential and yeah looking nice looking really nice combined with those bicycle pads yeah great we're gonna end it with this one and we'll see you next time in the next episode and we got a really buzzy bus station so mission accomplished for this episode uh, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel so don't miss any further videos and if you enjoyed this video leave a comment and then we'll see you in the next episode bye bye